No, so we're doing, right, we're filming an intro, the overall Vlogmas intro, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, so like every Vlogmas video will we'll have, have... The same intro. The same intro, that's right, like right, my right. own videos, but it's my Christmas one, okay? Yeah. So you've got that. But today, that's within another video, so and we're filming the intro for that video, but we're filming behind the scenes of the intro. So today we're filming an intro of the intro of the intros. <laughs> so right now we scenes. need to film an intro. The intro to of film every video. No, no, no. <laughs> so right. We need to film. Come and look on the laptop because I've got the thing. So we need to film the intro to this whole video. So this is a separate the video. Series, the series of the, the no, intro. No, 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 no. no. The intro for the complete, so to introduce the series. And then film. Yeah, 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 but right now I'm saying we need to set the camera up so that we can do the intro to this specific video. Because this video is about telling people what's going to be in Vlogmas. So getting people excited. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. The whole intro to the series. No, but, yeah, but we need to do an intro to this video. Oh, okay, so doing an intro to the intro video of the series and then we're gonna film the intro of the series that's gonna go in each video. Is that right? Got it, up top. Introception. <laughs> and welcome back to the intro of what's going to be filming the intro for Vlogmas. Woo! As you guys will know, I have been incredibly busy the last few weeks, quite a few weeks actually, filming some very top secret things. And today is the first day that you're going to get a little inkling, a sprinkle of what is coming your way throughout December. I think you're going to like what I've got in store for you. Vlogmas has rolled around yet again, the fourth year of doing it. And let me tell you something, after four years of doing lots of Christmassy themed videos in December, the ideas start to run a little dry. You start to not love the tinsel like you once did, you know? Dressing up as a turkey, it just doesn't feel quite the same. And so this year I wanted to do something completely different, unlike what I've ever done for previous vlogmases. And I also wanted to be really lazy because, not gonna lie, when it comes to December, I tend to like to have the horses on their winter break, they get really fluffy, it's super muddy, so they are always absolutely filthy. And I just thought, I'm not really fancying doing the whole cleaning, clipping, getting ready to film them every single day, so I figured, hmm. What could I do to avoid doing that? And thus, the Vlogmas 2022 idea was born. I'd like to point out this idea occurred to me in January. So I've been sitting on this, so excited to get going and present you the 12, except it's not 12, days of Not My Horses. I need a mic drop. Tinsel drop. Okay, so let's go over a few T's and C's because it's not 12 days. It's actually going to be six videos. I was about to say five then. Six videos coming your way where I am going to super exciting places and people to basically film with their horses. I can't tell you exactly who I've got lined up because that would ruin the surprise. But I will tell you that I have been up and down the country. I've been on a plane. I've done things that I have never done in my life before. I've also been rather terrified and I've roped in some familiar faces that you may recognise as well for a couple of videos in particular. So it's going to be absolutely epic. I'm so happy with what we've filmed so far. And each of the videos also comes with a special giveaway to try and say thank you back to all of you lovely people watching because you've supported me throughout the entire year, so I want to spread some Christmassy love where possible. Now, on the topic of Christmassy love, before we head out and film this intro, which you guys are gonna see behind the scenes of and then see the final result by the end, I do want to thank the sponsor of this video, which is, ta-da, the amazing Air Up. So I'm gonna quickly unbox this. If you're one of those people who doesn't know what to get someone for Christmas, you know those really difficult people and you're like, I cannot put my finger in you, what do I buy you? 
Air Up have got you covered. So they've got loads of different Christmas bundles. This is a little example of one, but if they already have a bottle, you can go and get just accessories or pods for them. There is something for everyone. So if you remember, this is actually their stainless steel version. This will keep your drink nice and cool while you're going about your day. Now, if you go for the Christmassy bundle, you're actually gonna get some Christmassy themed pods along with the bottle to get you started. So see these little, little pods here, cherry and peach. I'll open up for you. Oh, my favorite time of the day is opening a new pod because you are hit with an aroma. Oh, so sweet. Mm. These are recyclable pods like this. And this is what is going to flavor your tap water. Okay, so I've just got back from filling this up with tap water. And this is where the magic happens because you put your pod on here like so, pull her up, oh, that's my favorite bit. peachy water. Every time I change the flavors, it just hits me again with how amazing this is. So it's basically just tricking your brain. The flavor is so strong smelling and it filters it through. So it like kind of aerates it and your brain is going to think that you're drinking peach flavored water, but with none of the horrible additives. So no sugar or nasty chemicals, just good old fashioned water to keep you nice and hydrated. Each pod will be able to flavor five liters of water so you can keep refilling it. Also great for the planet because we're not using single use plastic. You can recycle these once you're finished with them. And the steel bottle will keep your water cold for up to 14 hours. That's your entire day sorted. If you would like to have a little look at the Eric website, I'm gonna leave a link down below. If you've got that person that just is a bit tricky to shop for, or maybe you fancy just treating yourself this festive season, go and have a look at their bundle because they have got incredible deals. You'll get loads of flavor pods, bottles, accessories, anything you want to get, there is a bundle for everyone. A big thank you to Eric for sponsoring this video. And now let's go and attempt to film this intro. Because we've kind of done the intro. So now this is the actual intro for the Christmas videos. I hope everyone's following. Okay guys, so the intro, it's gonna be hard to beat last year's one, not gonna lie. Whew, my brain was coming up with good ideas last year. But this year, the whole, the whole point of this intro is to try and get across the point that I'm not, they're not my horses. I'm not gonna ride my horses. I don't need you anymore, guys. In the field, I'm off. Really sorry, ponies, if you're watching that. I absolutely love you. I hope the mic's not getting too tinselly. So the next point of the intro is that they're not, it's not crazy Christmassy. I've not gone in with the vulgar amount of tinsel that I did last year. We're not, we've not gone too wild. A, because I want people who don't celebrate Christmas or just don't really get, you know, too overexcited with seeing tons of tinsel to be able to enjoy these videos and watch them past December. And B, we've been filming slash planning these since September, early November time. And it just felt a little bit early to go all in with the tinsel and the lights and the Santa dress. You know what I mean, guys? Sometimes just get that vibe. Anyway, I think the first shot we're gonna do is maybe go up and pretend that I'm turning D and Jam out. They're already out in the field, so we'll have to, you know, just use a bit of theater, theater to, uh, yeah, sort that out. Right, I'll go get a head collar and yeah, probably ditch this at some point. Oh, ow! Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, we need to get you in it somehow. Except you're already in your stable. We could have got you, <gasps> you're tucked up in bed. Maybe that should be one of the shots. This is really hard because we've basically got about 10 seconds to try and convey this message. Hence why I'm making this video so I can tell you guys what the message is. And then hopefully when you watch the intro, you'll understand. Let's go sunshine. They're gonna be so confused when I catch them and then just turn them back out. Poor little beans, but it's only one o'clock. It's not time to come in. One of you needs to wear tinsel. I'm guessing it's not gonna be you, Jam. D, you're up. 
You're out of tinsel? Yes, tinsel comes with carrots, you are right. Oh guys, this is a bit of a look behind the curtain, isn't it? I'm lying to you, I'm literally gonna bring the horses out the field, turn around, <laughs> put them straight back in. Don't throw tinsel on the floor. Jam was so good to wait until I got the head collar off. Ah. That's hilarious. Well done, girls. You are true vlogging ponies. They're like, wait, come here, come and look at the carrots so I can apologize. You were brave, weren't you? You were brave. You get the bigger carrot then. Come on, Bam Bam. I'm hoping that's a one take wonder. Hopefully, we can edit something out of that. Well done, I'm really sorry you're not coming in though. Oh, gross, gross. You must have got a face full of foundation then. <laughs> See, I'm bucking. God, they're all riled up. Sorry guys, sorry. I love you, I love you. This is a public announcement to let everyone know that watches the intro and doesn't watch this video, although you won't know that if you don't watch this. I did pick up the tinsel. I would never litter tinsel. Okay, what we could do is go and put like a Christmas hat or those antler things on Bear and Brittany and then I can walk past and like take them off because it's like, nah, you don't need them this year, girl. I don't think Bear will let me put a hat on her, but Brittany will. Um, okay, next potential one. Yes, Etty's still lying down. So I think maybe like a door closing, like me locking Etty in. Really that's what I'm doing. Really, 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 really. No, no, no. Everyone stay down. Everyone stay down. Stay down. Eddie, please just stay there. Millie, stay there while I shut the door. No. Right, let's go and film other ones. Eddie will lie back down. She says, Look, thank you for sponsoring us, Voltaire Design. I have eaten your sign to show my gratitude. Next bit, it's all right, it's all right. Good girl, do you wanna have a look? It's okay, it'll stop flapping once it's by the door. Just have a look, just have a look. Your big brave pony, your big brave pony. She's not a big brave pony. I know you're, you are brave. I mean, I've told you that, you're so brave. You right with that there, Ted? I'm gonna, Really? All right. That's better. Okay. Ready? Etty has not gone back to bed, so we're going to plan B, which is just to shut the door and them all together. Come here, sweetie. I'd like you in this bit, though. Hello. Hello. Because we'd like you in the intro. We'd like you in the intro, because you're not involved in any of it, are you? Right. Maybe I can have her like she's coming out, and I can be like, nah, uh, you ain't coming. Right, we good? Okay, yeah, it's look like you're coming out. I'm gonna walk off. I can't remember if I said at the start of the video, guys, I'm actually gonna be riding on a few horses, not just visiting them, full on riding them. It's been exciting. Hey, eh? that was pretty good, Ertz. Well done. Well done. You're a very good actress. You're an actress and a liar. Was that what the Love Island quote was? Thank you, watch this Okay guys, so currently moving my car. 
so that we can get one of these last shots. Then we're gonna get the drone out. Bit awkward doing this car shot because it's so dirty. So we're gonna have to try and find a way to do that. Chocolate, anyone? These are my car chocolates now, and they are my favorite chockies. Shout out Annie if you're watching this, because you'll know where these came from. Okay, right. We need to try and film the car without filming all the chocolate. Leaf. Hey! <laughs> so, well, mm. like More hints. Right. Are we good? Try and be quick. Try and be quick. Wait, you can't see the boots and the hat. Ow! No, that's not going to work. Cut. Try to be quick. I right, would we'll take it for a minute for the car to start. Beautiful. Put the seatbelt on. We don't want hate for that now, do we? Let's go. I can pretty clear that. Does that look cleaner? Oh my god, there's a pair of pants! Cleaner? That looks worse. Oh! Really got stuck on the grass. Okay, right. This is so embarrassing now because everyone's going to know that I'm really bad with my car and haven't got my window fixed. So, final shot is going to be... Ugh! Driving out, we've just spent, what do you think, 45 minutes trying to do it with the drone? Uh, a minutes. 40 minutes, let's say. Um, and we, it's just not working with the drone because we're going uphill on the driveway and we've got the fence just behind us. It's just, it's too hard. And ponies. And ponies. Dee was obsessed with the drone, so cute. Um, so the plan is we're gonna drive up and I'm gonna rip my sand hat off. Because my window doesn't roll down, it's the only issue. So we're gonna kind of like drive, screech to a halt, open the door to throw it out which if people don't watch this video they're gonna be like why on earth did you do that and then you'll drive off and the it's gonna be like the boom of the hat falling we could b-roll hat falling as well in case we want to yeah. overlay well yeah overlay overlay and pete's got the gimbal now so he's gonna run alongside me so i'm gonna probably what do you think 40 miles per hour yeah, please. <laughs> probably about six miles per hour all right, let's go, baby. Reverse. Where should I stop? Um, By that tuft of grass, the high tuft? Yeah, let's go. Run, Pete, run. <laughs> Jesus, that's not gonna be good for my brakes. Let's go. <laughs> I don't know if you're here because obviously I've got the mic on in here, but my wheels were spinning. Right, so same again, stop there, yeah? Yeah. Right. Okay. Okay, just like that, the intro is filmed, except. I need to edit it now. So although it's gonna be short, probably not 15 seconds short like I wanted it to be, no more than 20 seconds is what I'm aiming for. It's going to take me so long to edit because I'll need to find all of the right bits. I mean, slow things down, speed things up where necessary, just make sure it's all cutting beautifully, color grade it. So yeah, it's gonna take me a good two hours, if not more, to edit it. But I hope that I can manage to get the message across that I was trying to. I don't know if I will. I mean, you guys know what the message is gonna be. People that don't watch this video are gonna be hella confused. Anyway, be sure to check the link out down below if you fancy treating someone this festive season to a wonderful Air Up bottle. A big thank you to them for kindly sponsoring this video. I live, laugh, love you guys, and without further ado, here is my 2022 Vlogmas intro. Take it away. Hello. 